Well, the Cleveland Browns season is mercifully over, which means we remaining fans all get to take a well-deserved break from questioning both our morality and our sanity for continuing to support such a consistently shambolic and loathsome organization. Which is nice. Even better, we now get to devote our full attention to a team that is not only much easier to root for, but is also quite good at the sport they play. Of course, I'm talking about them heads. Tonight we're gonna take no prisoners. So in case you want to hop on this Cavs party bandwagon right now, here's a quick primer to bring you up to date. Let's begin by introducing you to your Cleveland Cavaliers starting lineup. At point guard, all-star Darius Garland. At shooting guard, all-star Donovan Mitchell. At power forward, soon to be all-star Evan Mobley. At center, all-star Jared Allen. And finally, at small forward, all of these guys. To be honest, the three spots kind of a mess. We're still trying to figure that out. The Cavs are currently exceeding expectations, sitting at fifth place in the East, and they're a blast to watch. Now, some people might be reluctant to buy into this team based on last year's experience, when the Cavs played great all season, only to lose steam at the end, due largely to injury and fatigue. And of course, there's no way that I can promise you that that won't happen again this year, but you know what? No, I'm gonna put it all on the line here. I guarantee they're gonna make it. That's how much faith I have in this team. Here are just a few of the reasons why. Donovan Mitchell. We gave up a ton to secure him, and I'll admit I was nervous, but he's been everything we could have hoped for and more. He's averaging close to 30 points a game, and he not only can carry this team on his back when necessary, he wants to do it. He's the real deal. Defense. High-scoring exploits are fun, but defense is what defines this team. They're currently ranked second in the league in points allowed per game and defensive rebounds, largely due to the unwavering presence of my two beloved, tall, powerful nerds. Nerds! I don't mean this in a derogatory sense. This whole team is comprised of a bunch of really good-natured guys who are super easy to root for. Unfortunately, they seem far more interested in watching anime cartoons and playing Legend of Zelda than in bottle service at Barley House and courting the Kardashians. We're truly blessed. Cavalanche! The term Cavalanche refers to a gleeful and bountiful Cavs scoring spree. And one simply can't ignore that the recent introduction of the word to the Cavs fan lexicon coincided directly with the team's resurgence. Could be a coincidence, but it's definitely not. And he's back. If you stop following the Cavs because you miss lovable fan favorite Brazil nut Anderson Verajao, the Cavs just rehired him as an ambassador. I guess sort of like a third mascot to go with Moondog and Sir Cece? I don't know. Also, we signed Robin Lopez, who is sort of a ragged Kirkland brand version of Verajao. He looks like Andy if you squint. See? This team has it all. Chemistry. Despite really not having played together for very long, they quickly developed a great chemistry. They complement each other's talents and compensate for each other's weaknesses. They play unselfishly, and they are clearly genuinely enjoying themselves. It's for all those reasons and more that I am guaranteeing this team is going to the playoffs this year. So get on board now, folks, and start supporting this team. If I'm right, you get to watch postseason ball. If I'm wrong, you can all publicly ridicule me until your voices become hoarse. It's a win-win. This is Mike, the three news saying, Whoa, 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 come on, Cavs. It's a Michael Stanley song.